Okay, what's up? Welcome to the video. I haven't done one of these in such a long time, but I'm really excited uh, to be doing them again. My wife and I had a baby and you know, it throws a wrench in all of life, but it's a great thing. Um, but if you've watched any of these videos or if it's your first one, welcome. I always like to start my videos with some kind of a personal encouragement, not just here for the design stuff, but also for the human stuff, you know? So um, I was talking with my wife the other day, we're quickly approaching our 30s and our bodies just don't look the way that they used to. And, you know, fitness goals and things are great. I was at the gym today. But uh, I was just thinking about how it's easy to get caught up in, in comparing ourselves and feeling like, man, I'm not as blank as this person or I wish I could be more of this like that person, you know. And there is something inherently beautiful in all of our bodies right now as it is. And just want to encourage you to take some time to think today about what is one thing that I like about my body um, that may be easier or harder for you, but... It's a good way for us to love ourselves in a good and healthy way. Um, and you can do that and stay focused on your fitness goals as well. So simple encouragement from my day today to you. Now let's get into the video. All right, so we're here in Webflow and this is a project that we've been working on for a client. This client has a listing of a lot of businesses they wanna show. They really wanted a lot of customization for each of them and sometimes with Webflow that can be a bit tricky. So what we decided to do was to use color in a unique way. You know that Webflow already has the default option for adding colors to projects in the collections, but that's not what we were looking for because we needed something that could do more. For one instance, we like the idea of all the headings, block quotes, um, bold items, links within their listing rich text to have the same color as their accent color. But with the way that Webflow is set up, there's no way to add in that color dynamically um, through the settings. Same thing for a few other things like button cover colors for hovering. Uh, you can't set a hover color to be a CMS color. There's just some limitations there and we found a great and simple workaround to it. So what we did is that we created um, a variable, a color variable called business listing color. You'll see that name right here. That'll be important in a second. I just gave it a default color of red, doesn't really matter. And I gave it a business list, I gave business listing text as a second item. Um, so what I did is within my collection, you can see that we've got both an accent color, which is the listing color and the text color um, established. And people can choose one or the other, you know, they can change them and customize them. So what, how does this actually work? So what I did is I added just a little bit of custom HTML in the top of the page. We have this thread here that says HTML in the brackets means that through all the page, because all the pages HTML, we will look at the business listing colors. And what I'm doing is I'm overriding that color with our accent color. And same for my business listing text, I'm overriding it with the text color. So this is really cool because it allows us to use this color in the normal color picker and uh, with when we're designing any kind of elements and we're not limited to all the, the kind of restrictions that Webflow has on dynamic colors. So we can add colors to the headings. Um, I can do things like take our business listing text, which I know will always have the right contrast because we've defined it specifically. Um, and make the block quotes unique, make the text links all have that same color. Um, it's a small thing, but it's a long way that makes, uh, it goes a long way to really making this project feel custom. So when we look at the different listings, um, for different colors, you've got uh, different accent colors all throughout the projects in the headings, um, in the text, in the links, all that stuff, and it varies page to page. So that's just a really simple way um, to use a little bit of code to enhance something that Webflow already does pretty well and make it truly awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll be making more Webflow videos in the future. Um, if you like the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Love to have you around, and I'll see you on the next one.